What's going on guys? Now every once in a while I come across a story that's just so crazy I just gotta share it with y'all and here is one of those stories But first please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on more content like this. Let's go So I came across this crazy story that read man convicted of setting girlfriend on fire Now on trial for murder after she died 21 years later and I thought what the <laughs> The story goes like this Stephen Paul Craig, 57, was found guilty of grievous bodily harm with intent after he poured petrol oil over Jacqueline Kirk and set her on fire in Weston Super Mari, Somerset, on 18th April 1998. He was convicted and sentenced in 2000. Miss Kirk was badly injured at the time but survived. Yet on the 23rd of August 2019, Miss Kirk died in the hospital at age 62, having suffered a ruptured diaphragm. As a result, Craig has now been charged with her murder, with prosecutors arguing the injuries he inflicted contributed to her death. The prosecutor told Bristol Crown Court on Monday, in 1998 the defendant attacked a woman by pouring petrol over her and setting her aflame. The injuries inflicted were of great significance as a result of his actions. However, at that time the victim survived. As a result, the defendant was tried and punished for what he had then done. But the story does not end there. Many years later, the injured woman died as a result of part of the injury that the defendant had inflicted on this victim. Therefore, we set that good sense and the law says that this defendant should be accountable for the full consequences of what he did. The prosecution say that the defendant can be described as having murdered the victim. Burns covered 35% of the victim's body. As Miss Kirk's injuries covered 35% of her body, including her face, neck, chest, torso, thighs, and buttocks. The prosecution argues that she died because her skin was no longer able to stretch far enough to accommodate the swelling of her intestines. They also claim that her injuries were the reason doctors decided not to operate to repair the diaphragm and therefore save her life. The defense on the other hand is arguing that this cannot be proved. Judge Mrs. Justice Stacy told jurors to put emotion aside and consider whether Mr. Kirk's burns contributed to her death. Craig himself denies the charge of murder, of course, and the case is expected to last about three weeks. So guys, do you agree with me that this is an utterly bizarre case? What do you think should this man be held culpable and responsible for this lady's death? Now, although I was unable to obtain information as regards to the length of his original sentence, it appears that the man is still incarcerated to this day leading up to his murder charge, so it could easily be said that he was already serving a lengthy prison sentence for the assault that took place that led to this woman's injuries. But now some 21 years later, he's going to have to answer for his crime yet again. This seems to be unprecedented and something I have never quite heard before. And that's why I wanted to bring this story to you. Let me know what you guys think of this story in the comments and what should happen next. This is a very sad story and my condolences and sympathies goes out to the families of the victim.